good morning it is not a good morning it is a very tired morning i'm tired it is 5 42 in the morning and i have been up and writing since 3 a.m for the 24 hour novel challenge i'm not regretting it just yet but I'm sure that will soon change. I decided to make all of those 24 hours consecutive. So from 3 a.m. Saturday the 17th to 3 a.m. Sunday the 18th, I will be writing a new novel. And hopefully, hopefully we will get as close to 50,000 words as possible. It's been an okay day so far. I am currently doing a half an hour break because I feel like I'm going to need a half an hour break occasionally throughout the day so I decided to do it now. I've so far done five 25 minute Pomodoros. I couldn't tell you how many words I've written because I'm not counting my word count and I am currently on my fourth scene. So not even three hours into this thing and I am behind. Only really by one scene so far. I should be on scene five. I'm currently halfway through scene four. It's okay. I'm not going to panic at the moment. Um, I should be on the inciting incident by five o'clock. So between five and six, I should be writing the inciting incident. I'm not. I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much about it right now at the beginning because I can easily catch up by half-assing scenes in the future if I need to. I'm going to be half-assing a lot of scenes later on in the day anyway because lo and behold I did not finish the outline that I wanted to finish before you know today started. I haven't even reached midpoint for my detail outlining so the majority of the scenes I have to write today are not outlined very much at all, maybe bar two or three paragraphs. And I'm trying not to let the thought of that worry me for when I'm sitting there and I've been writing for 12 plus hours and I'm tired and I'm grumpy and I just want to stop writing. I'm not going to let the fact that I have, you know, no foundation to build on worry me about finishing the novel you, you know it's it's fine it's fine i don't have a game plan for today not an official one at least obviously i know that i need to keep myself motivated luckily it's a story to tell us her write a thumb this weekend so lots and lots of um live streams to attend even though i probably won't be following the um Oh my god, my words are failing me already. Even though I probably won't be following the actual spins themselves as much as I should be. I'll probably be sticking mostly to my own. I forgot what I was trying to talk about with this sentence. My plans for the weekend. Oh god, this is going to be difficult. That will hopefully help keep me motivated. The fact that the kids are home is not going to help me out very much we'll worry about that. I'm going to take regular half an hour breaks throughout the day so where I've taken a half an hour break after five Pomodoros I'm not going to do that every time. I'll maybe then do the next 10 sets of Pomodoros and then take another half an hour break. I want to take regular naps throughout the day as well making sure that during my five minute breaks with the Pomodoros I get up and I do something and I'm not just sitting stationary at my chair maybe try and go outside take a walk around the building or something for five minutes I also have this my reverse coloring book which is so much fun to do I'm also planning on doing in between sprints and stuff like that just to do something else creative that is not writing. So I do have a few things to uh, keep me occupied throughout the day and hopefully keep me invested and awake and doing what I need to do. That and copious, copious amounts of tea and chocolate. I need to buy chocolate. So I am going to get some tea. 
dawdle for the next 10 minutes that I have left of my half an hour break and then we are going to get straight back into it. The children are now awake. Aren't you? Yeah. I have started my inciting incident. I am mostly finished with the inciting incident, to be fair. I'm doing okay with writing and not caring about how it sounds or any of the typos or anything that I have going on. I am not looking forward to the fact that I'm going to have to go back through this entire manuscript before I check my final word count. And I'll show you exactly why I'm going to have to do this. It's really, really annoying. I have a lot of words which, one, are um, spelled incorrectly, whatever, but two, um, where my spacebar hasn't been working properly. And um, they're just, all these words are just two words in one, so they're wrong. And uh, yeah, I have to go through and, you know, make them all the words that they are, as opposed to the fake words that I have created for them. And depending on how much I have finished writing, that is going to take me quite a while to do, which is not going to be fun. Come on, Okay, so it is 10 a.m. We have been writing for, oh my god, six hours. Oh, it's six. Six. No. Okay. Six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it is 10 a.m. We have been writing for seven hours now. It does not feel like I've been writing for seven hours at all whatsoever, which I found really weird. I'm trying to type and write at the same time. I'm so sorry, I'm a little bit behind, which is weird. I would have. I would have thought by now that I would um, be, you know, a lot worse off than I currently am at the moment. Which is not too bad. I'm on time at the moment, so I have caught up with what I'm supposed to be doing. See, I'm, I'm supposed to be hitting the first plot point between 10 and 11. Technically, I'm supposed to be hitting it at 10 o'clock, but we'll call it between 10 and 11, which is the next scene. And I'm halfway through the scene I'm currently on. So I should hit that in the next hour and we will officially be on time. Ignore the kids behind me also while they talk. And I am supposed to be writing. I can't write and talk at the same time, which is very, very terrible. I can't do it, but either way, um, we, we were okay. I'm not feeling too bad at the moment. Surprising. I thought I'd be a lot worse. We'll see later how I feel. Everything seems to be, and this is what's bugging, bugging me. Everything seems to be coming quite easily. And I'm right, I feel like I'm writing quite well. And I'm not having any drag or anything like that, which I'm very, very scared about. Because I expected me to hit it a bit sooner and work through it rather than me being like, yeah, this is really good. I'm okay so far. I'm writing this story. I'm not getting sick and tired of it. I'm not going, ugh, my well, five minutes is up. I've got to go back and write now. I'm like, yeah, okay, five minutes is up. Let's go back and write. It's, it's weird and I dislike it. I just need to enjoy it while it lasts, right? And I can panic when the panic starts hitting, okay? Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know what it is. It is 24 minutes past two in the afternoon. I have been up for 11 and a half hours. 
and I have been writing using my tracker only for a total of seven hours and 55 minutes. And I've just finished scene 14 technically based on what I have um, planned, but it's literally like half page long. So that's not, I know for a fact, anywhere near the thousand words that I need. So I'm gonna try and see if I can stretch it out a little bit more, maybe see what I've got coming next and then find a way to fit those two back together because those two scenes technically take place um, at the same time but in different areas of what's going on. I'm not doing too badly, I don't feel terrible, I'm still writing quite well. I am though unfortunately I only have one more scene left that I have outlined and I have then not outlined the entire rest of the story which is bad. What is also bad is in half an hour I'm supposed to be at midpoint and that is one two three four five scenes away so I am extremely behind. Like I was okay behind at the beginning and now with the miss midpoint so I'm not keeping on track at all um, with the times I wanted everything completed but I guess if I take into account how long I've physically been writing for and not how long I've been awake for I am ahead of schedule technically ever so slightly in the fact that during the ninth hour I'm supposed to be on the first pinch point so it depends on which way I want to go around I am probably going to end up being sneaky sneaky and instead of me doing oh well I wrote between you know 3am and 3am 50,000 words just take into account how long I've actually physically been writing for so where I have been up for 11 and a half hours I've only written for eight so technically I still have 16 hours in which to write this novel even though I've only got like 12 and a half hours left of the day sneak sneak it I'm just happy that I'm still feeling good I'm still feeling motivated I'm not lagging at the moment and we'll see how long that will last hopefully until the end of the day Okay, it is six o'clock in the evening. I have just reached midpoint. I'm only three hours behind, which it, which is not good in the scheme of 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. But I think in the scheme of how long I have been physically writing for, I am, if I check my stats, technically still ahead. Um, 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. so 15 hours I've been awake for and writing and I've technically only been writing physically for 10 and a half of those hours which feels like a really really bad ratio because now it's like I'm not going to get to the end of this by 3 a.m. the way that I'm going unless I like write and write and write and don't have any breaks at all and don't stop which I don't want to do but it's also technically sneaky sneaky i've only been writing for 10 hours not 15 so depending on which way you want to do it I, I, again we'll see hopefully i can get to all of the novel done by 3 a.m depending on how fast I can write all of these scenes. Some of them are going to be easier than others because even though I haven't done like a detailed, detailed outline, I've done a big enough of an outline that I continuously have something to go to in order to do the writing. There are a couple of scenes in here which don't even have a basic outline because I sort of added them at the last minute to flesh out the novel a little bit more. Um, those ones are going to be the more difficult ones. They're probably going to be a little bit shorter than the rest of them. Midpoint, luckily, is going to be one of those scenes where it is pretty much um, done and I can 
go from point to point and I can extend that into my rough thousand words that I want to extend it to. I am in the middle of monitoring slash watching slash writing to the storytellers her second productivity spin, which is intermittent in ugh, which, which is in oh my god. Inimitable Books LLC. Um, oh, I do have tea. Oh, it's not cold yet. Okay, that's fine. I was worried. I was like, I need to go get myself some tea. Oh, I have some already. Oh no, it's not. It's cold. It's just barely drinkable. So I'm gonna have to drink that quickly and get started. And the more I talk, the less time I have to write. So um, let's get back to it. very very slowly but surely losing my momentum which is sad but I knew it would happen eventually but it is 20 past 11 so I've made it the majority of the day feeling all right which I'm very surprised and happy about I'm slowing down and I keep getting ever so slightly more distracted than normal but we're still writing it's still terrible and it's still <sighs> you know when you do a story and it's such a great idea and you start doing the outline for it and you think the outline is really good and you think the pacing is all right and then you get into actually physically writing and as you're writing i don't know whether it's because I was bored with what I was writing, the context of everything. But you write it and you're like, no, this sucks. This is so boring. Nothing is happening. But but you think as you're outlining that things are happening, but as you're writing, you like, but they're not really, are they? And bar the very, very bad quality of this first draft that I'm currently writing. I'm going through it and I don't know, I feel at the moment like there's something missing from the plot. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to know what it is until I go back and reread it whenever I decide to do that. But at the moment I feel there's something lacking in the story in the plot itself, not like with the characters or anything, because I know they're definitely underdeveloped. It's it's just weird that I thought I'd done such a good job, as I always think I've done such a good job, then to be like, oh no, I actually don't think I did a good job at all. It's quite terrible, really. But they are all problems for future Sarah. Right now, present Sarah sort of has to come to terms with the fact that no, I'm not actually going to get all of this done by 3am, which I sort of have known throughout the day. Um, luckily for me, me being sneaky sneaky, I have written for 14, it will be 14 and a half hours once I'm finished with the current sprint that I'm doing. See how many hours I have left worth of writing, just to see if we can't finish the last little bit at some point over the next couple of days whether I want to check my word count at the end of today or wait until I'm actually finished with everything and I've done the 24 hours. I don't know, but we're going to have to play sneaky sneaky if I want to get all of this done.
Sunday morning and we have happily completed the entirety of Act 1 and the entirety of Act 2. It's time for sleeps. Don't tell me what it is. So write the number down. Yeah. And then click with the mouse off so it disappears. Yeah. Thank you. Hey! Well, you're cheating. No, I don't want to know what the number is now. I want to know what it is later. What's the point of that? Because, I'm, because I want to know how much I wrote yesterday, but I don't want to look at it at the moment. And I'm going to do some more writing today and I don't want the number to be lost. And with that, the 24 hour novel challenge has officially been completed. It is Monday morning. I'm absolutely shattered and I have work. All that is left to do now is go over the stats for the weekend and finally find out how many words I wrote for my completed novel. <sighs> okay. In total for the two days, I wrote for 21 hours and 38 minutes. 14.35 of those was on the 17th, which was 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. Saturday to Sunday morning. And seven hours and three minutes on the 18th, which was majorly in the evening after we'd done family stuff for the day. So, sneaky, sneaky, 21 hours and 38 minutes to write my novel in its entirety which i am super super happy about again i don't know how many words i wrote so i'm gonna find that out now i didn't have 50 scenes like i thought i was gonna have 50 scenes i think i had 44 scenes in total which obviously writing a thousand words a thousand words um it's only 44,000 words but my good better best goal is going to totally come into play good is 20,000 words, better is 35,000 words, and best is of course 50,000 words. So I don't want to do this. I don't want to see how many words I ended up writing. Um, but we're going to. So let us find out together how many words. Okay. Yes, I write in pastels. All right, project, project targets. Are we ready? Okay, so for the 24 hour novel challenge, I ended up writing in 21 hours and 38 minutes. I don't wanna look. 45,089 words. Wow. 45,000 words. I'm happy with that. I'm super, super happy with that. My head is going, you've still got another three hours before you hit 24. You can finish those 5,000 words off if you really wanted to, to get to the 50. 
No, I can't. I'm too drained to do that. Am I too drained to do that? Can I do that after work? No. 45,000 worth, that's what we've done and that's all we're going to do. So I want to go through now and I just want to see how many words I ended up writing for each scene because I'm very interested um, whether having the outline there ready for me, which I had for the majority of the first act scenes, um, created longer scenes than the scenes, um, you know, around an after midpoint where I did not have an outline. Were those scenes comparatively shorter because I had not detailed outlined them. In fact, there's a couple of scenes on there which I hadn't outlined at all. I added before I could reach them in the outline. Um, yeah, let's, let's see, let's see. Right, so in order, that was quite a short scene, yeah. Oh, another short scene, I thought that was at least a thousand words. Okay, a lot of good scenes that were over a thousand, a good few 800, a lot of 800 in those ones there. Almost 2,000 there, that is a short one, but I knew those two were specifically short. Around 1,300 words for most of them, actually. That's another really short one. So, majorly, and there's a lot here that are quite shorter than I assumed they were going to be as well. These ones are, a lot of those are the ones I had not outlined as well, but then there's a few later ones, especially down here. So yeah, 100%, the majority of the scenes I had detail outlined were in fact longer than the ones, you know, in the later half that I had not outlined. And there's a few exemptions, of course, but for the most part, yeah. See, where would I be if I had actually fully finished the detailed outline? Would I have ended up hitting 50,000 words because I'm looking at it and it's really frustrated that I'm looking at it now and all of these scenes which are like eight, 700, 800 words if I would just written a couple hundred words more for all of those different scenes I would have been so close to hitting the 50,000 in total and that is my overestimation of my skills and my underestimation of how difficult, how long it would take me to do the full detail outline coming into play. Past Sarah, you missed the mark. This is what future Sarah had to deal with, okay? <laughs> Where could we have been if I'd have just not procrastinated and done what I needed to do? I knew I needed the detail outline. But it is what it is. We have done what we have done. 45,000 words is absolutely nothing to laugh about. That is, I could still do 50,000 words though because I have a few hours left. No, I'm not going to do it. I might do it. We'll see how I feel after work. Doing myself by saying that, aren't I? Technically, the challenge is still going on. It does count for the 18th, for the 19th as well. Okay, somebody stop me debating this. Okay, I'm done. We're done. I'm done. 45,000 words in 21 hours. We're done. It is without a doubt the worst first draft I have ever written. It is absolutely riddled, riddled with spelling mistakes and technically the 45,000 words I have done a couple hundred words more than that because I have so many words which are um, jammed into one word I am 100% not bothered to go through the entire thing and separate all of those words and change all of those spelling mistakes 
that can wait until I inevitably reread what I have written to actually see how goddamn awful it really is. And if it is worth investing time into uh, rewrites and edits. That sounds weird, obviously, why would I write an entire novel to then just do absolutely nothing with it? But that's sort of my process when I do things, is I will write a novel and then if I, when I reread it, if I don't feel that spark of excitement or, oh, this is really good, oh, I could do this, and oh, if I don't feel like I can take it anywhere, I won't take it anywhere, and it will just sit on my computer. I've done this with a good few novels now. I sort of um, shelve them. I think about them from time to time. I will, you know, go back and I will start rereading through them to see if I can have that, oh yeah, I can really do something with this novel. And then if I do feel that, then yeah, certainly I'll go through and I'll start, you know, doing some work on it. Um, if I don't feel that again, it will just stay on the shelf. But a reread through it will help me decide whether or not I want to, you know, go back and get into the re-outlining it properly because I know that a lot of things don't make sense. Working on the characters a bit more and their motivations because everything is very, very skin deep at the moment and not, you know, bone depth. If that's the thing, it's not a thing that, you know, that I would want everything to get to. But for first draft, I feel like it could be a good starting point if I ever chose in the future to take it further. So that was the 24 hour novel challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below, did you take part in the 24 hour novel challenge? Would you ever do something as crazy as this? And I'll see you in my next video. Good thoughts and happy writing.